Hey, Instagram, via the internet, it's me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet. Well, it's a Thursday, This means it's audio drama day, but we're close to the uh, American election, so I, I was trying to, for now and for the next five days, whatever it is, I was trying to, you know, tie into stuff like that, but let me put it this way. It's awfully entertaining, you know. But Thursday is usually audio drama day. I find it. I won't get into the whole thing. Thursday, I usually talk about audio drama. So let us talk about narratives. That's a that's a word they've been using the last few years. Narratives. Who controls the narrative? Well, what's the narrative but an audio drama? Audio drama. Well, audio drama. We control the narrative because if you create an audio drama, you don't want to write in the script, and then you, the, the characters say what you want them to say, and then it becomes like a soap opera or really popular then it becomes the narrative that people pick up, you know? You see, see, see how that works? So audio drama is a narrative. And the narrative that we have these days is how, oh look, let me put it this way. If the, if the elections right now, I mean, in the United States elections, right now was, was an audio drama, it would be, well, the narratives would be kind of interesting. I just saw a post, look, I'm sorry. It's very entertaining. But then again, audio drama is supposed to be entertaining, right? Uh, 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 Kamala Harris is, is is whatever she's doing. You know what I mean? M MK Ultra. We call it. I call it MK Ultra. You know, she's an MK Ultra adjacent because you know her mom was her mom was involved in MK Ultra. You know, and you know she's got that MK Ultra. You know, like disconnect in her brain. So she's MK Ultra. So that's one part of the narrative. That's 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 a character in audio drama, right? Then you have then you have the Green Party, right? You have Jill Stein and you have. Uh, 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 well, Dr. Jill Stein, Dr. Uh, Butch Ware, and uh, and he has a whole other narrative. He's 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 supposed to, he's supposed to be into reparations, but you know he was just on <laughs> with Jason Black. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. But he's new to the game, so he doesn't really know how to be a politician. He's an acad he's really an academic, you know. I know community act. Everybody's community activist, right? But he's an academic, right? So I don't say he crashed and burned. He was he was all right. In fact, I gave, I basically give him a, a seven out of ten, but I, I I give him a handicap because he's not a, a politician, so he really doesn't know how to, to answer questions right, and, and and he gets emotional, you know, like that. So, so that that went where Jill Stein did her Jill Stein thing. She was all right. She was she was also into uh, on the, uh, the Black Authority, you know. Uh oh, and uh, who else? Corner. I haven't seen Corner. Well, he hasn't appeared on my 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 device, right? But Cornell, I'm sorry, yo. I've known Cornell for a long time. Here's my assessment of Cornell. You ready for this one? Now, first of all, no, let me leave this first of all. Uh, James Baldwin was, uh, became famous when he was about 25 years old. You know what I mean? And since that point, and, and, and the darlings, you know, this, this, you know the darlings, the, 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 the liberals left, whatever, the darlings. I call them the darlings. The darlings grabbed them up, you know what I mean? And put, you know, put cognac in his hand, bourbon, whatever, cognac in his hand, and cigarette in another hand, and they, they they invite him to all the parties, and so, you know, he existed that way for a while. So he said, hey, wait a second, this is not healthy. <laughs> but he got involved in real politics, down with the with the peoples, you know what I mean? When I say with the peoples, you know I mean? No, he really was down with the peoples, you know what I mean? Uh, 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 he's writing, he's get, get, it was a different time, right? Cornell, on the other hand, he was picked up uh, pretty, pretty young, you know, and uh, he did all kinds of weird things. You know, he was against the... Castro and Cubans, but he has a, he has a history, right? A long history. But, but anyway, he's he's doing what he's doing. I don't know who else is out there. Oh, oh, Trump, Trump. Talk about radio drama. Talk about audio drama. Talk about <laughs> narratives. Trump is the most entertaining there is. First of all, people don't understand Trump. First, I said this before. Trump is smarter than you are. Just letting you know, he's not smarter than me, but he's smarter than you. <laughs> All these folks are. That's one. Two, uh, he comes from that, you know, he comes from a background that understands all that's going on, right? The three, I won't go into all the numbers, but let, let me stop at three. The biggest thing at all, now you have to understand, when I do audio drama, when I even do play, well, play is a little different, when I do audio drama, the number one rule, especially when doing whatever, is you got to have fun. And if you ain't having fun, there's no reason to do. There's just no reason to to hang out in audio drama, right? 
now that Trump is doing this the second time, and he's not really too beholden to, to the Republican Party people to give him advice with, and, and give him people like John Bolton and all the rest of the people all, all, all that surrounded him the first time, you know. <laughs> it's hilarious. Now he's 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 getting his little what do they call it the Avengers or something like that the the you know, he's he, he's got he's got uh, 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 RFK Jr. Uh, I guess he's going to do a health thing I guess you know you got uh, Tulsa Gabbard though she's military she's sort of anti anti misusing the military right and she's a woman she's I guess well let me leave that alone right he's got uh, look he's he's got all these people that that are, that are jumping on his his, his band with the bandwagon he for the last you know he's rightly built right but he's getting some incredible advice like I said advice like I said he's having fun I just saw he he's the greatest troller that the internet has you know like I said remember his first time he's up there trolling all hours, all hours of the, of the night, he's just they're just sending out was the tweets at the time, tweeties. He, he's tweeting it all night. So he was he was having a little bit. Of, he was trying to be himself, but now that he's got he understands certain things or whatever have you, he's having the time of his life. I'm gonna go to one thing later, but let me tell you what what it is. I saw his post where he he had a press conference and he was in a, a dump truck, right? And he got into the passenger side of the dump his passenger side. I get confused because it, uh, I'm in South Africa and, and, and they drive on one side of the thing and the wheels on that. That's right. He was in the passenger side of the dump truck holding a press cam. So he's up, up high, which is a whole troll. And, and, and the reporters got to put their microphones up and yell the questions to him. Like, like it's better than the helicopter when, when they're going on the tarmac and, 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 and you, people got to yell, yell things over the helicopter noise. But now I can't hear you. Oh, yeah. Look, he's having fun. And if the, if, if the man's having fun, I start to say the boy, because I say, hey, look, no, that's how I talk. Well, okay. The boy having fun. <laughs> having big fun. I can't believe it, you know. Uh, so anyway, so 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 I just wanted to point that out. Out of all the people that's, that's doing it, I'm, I'm saying that Donald Trump is having the time of his life. He's having fun, all right? Whether he wins or not, don't don't matter. He having fun. I don't even think it's a matter of him winning. He's like, I'm having fun. If I'm gonna da 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 da. Oh, by the way, he's probably gonna win. Uh, <laughs> why? Because the stars are aligning, right? There's this guy that, that's been predicting a presidential election since 1990, since 1992, whatever, for a long time, and he's got these seven keys or 12 keys or whatever whatever many keys that if they, da, 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 and he's predicted that Kamala Harris is going to win what he did under what he doesn't understand is his little key thing his little formula right black people <laughs> I'm just saying right let me I'm, I'm going to go off again let me say talk about this. one of my favorite films is uh, The Longest Shot I'm not talking about the remake with the with the Sandler guy and, 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 and uh, uh, the rock guy, you know. I'm talking about the original one with Burt Reynolds and, and, and Eddie Howard. Well, because in that film, you know, they, they, they get, the, the, the inmates are going to have this football game that's a, a rigged football game against the guards, you know. So so, anyway, so they want to recruit black the black prisoners. And, you know, the black prisoners say, ah, no, that's just not our thing, you know, you know, whatever happened. But then as, at a turn of events, you know, there's one black guy kept on saying, come on, you know, just, you know do that, that, that. Of course they killed them but i won't get into that right now because back then or well, black people were dying you know in the movies a lot right now now they don't kill them they just make them like uh uh, uh what do you call that uh, uh transsexual or they, they change their sex you know they, they make them laughing stuff i won't get into that either so so what happens when the black people when the black inmates come over to the football game that's when things change well no matter what uh, Barack Obama does, Michelle Obama does. Uh, who else is out there? They trying to. Oh, the uh, I think that D.L. Hughley or uh, organized some sort of black men's forum. It's really just a, a whole thing to get uh, black men to vote for the, the the Harris lady. You know, the the MK Ultra lady. It ain't gonna work. <laughs> so in other words, black people are sort of going over the people. The black people that don't go over to uh, 
to, to Trump, there's another segment of black people that that are just not, well, like I said, with the black authority and those folks, they, they're just not voting, right? So, once again, black people, black, when I say black people, I'm talking about American Africans, you know, the, the ones that, you know, formerly uh, 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 Negroes and, you know, enslaved and all that stuff, that, that whole lineage, right? I don't know about any, all these other people. Anyway, <laughs> they're, 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 if you don't get those kind of black folks, what do I call lineage, you know, black folks, uh, you know, uh, then, well, you ain't going to win. I'm just telling you, that's just the way it is. Why? Because we the troops, you know, we the, we, we the people that whenever we join, it's hip, right? So there's a whole lot of trolling going on and it's, it's hilarious. So the next five days, I'm having it on my phone. No, oh, oh, by the way, I, I, I'm, I'm also running. I want you to, uh, I'm, I'm running as a write-in candidate. Uh, I'm appealing basically, well, the people that are sitting out, you're all sitting out. Okay, I'm not talking about you. But those people are just, I don't know what I should do. You can have fun. Uh, uh, well, let me go back. There's only two things I'm interested in. If I'm not voting. Well, I'm not voting for a number of reasons. I'm sitting in South Africa and I didn't do an absentee ballot. Uh, I didn't sign up enough time because I was supposed to come to the States. It's a whole thing. So, so, so I can't do it, right? But were I voting, I would actually vote for the uh, Green Party. Why? Because uh, Jill Stein is a, is a, uh, doesn't want war, global war, whatever have you. So uh, that's one of my things. But my biggest thing is reparations. And they have a reparations uh, platform. So uh, uh, Butch Ware, well, it's... Listening to a black authority, he, he's he's like a, one of those, and also uh, uh, candidates. So I'm not sure, but at least he has a reparations platform, right? But I would vote for them only because that would be the official one. But elsewhere on my ballot, this is where you come in, because I can't, I can't, I'm not, I'm not voting, right? If you're going to go, say for instance, you don't even want to vote for the major candidates. There's always in, in the United States, there's a write-in option, right? You can write in a candidate. I want you to write in my candidacy. And my candidacy has a name. I have a name, a, a given name, and a surname. The given name is is a. Uh, 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 what do you, what are, what are, what are we? We, we? We're from the beginning. You know, we were the formerly enslaved. We became uh, Negroes, colored, black, uh, 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 all, all, all kinds of things, right? We, we're talking about lineage. Our lineage goes back, you know, through through slavery all the way through, you know, when they when they brought us here. So it's lineage. So my my given name is lineage on, for ballot purposes, and my last name is reparations. So somewhere on the ballot, I need you to write in lineage reparations. Lineage reparations. So that that that's what you vote for. That, that, again, you can vote for whatever you want, but there's some place on the ballot. Like say, for instance, your congressman, you know they're going to win. Then you instead of voting for that congressman who's going to win anyway, just write in lineage reparations, or your I don't know. But if, if you got a senate or, or a governor, and you know the person's going to win anyway, just write in lineage reparations. Okay, then you'd be. I mean, now this is important too, because for the next year, I'm gonna my campaign is not over. I mean, I'm I'm, I'm like a. I'm like uh, what Butch Ware says. He's 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 he's. I guess he says he's going to learn. He didn't say this, but he's going to learn how to be a, a politician. I guess and, and stay on the ground, whatever, do his thing, right? So what I want people to do, if you to, to get the habit of writing things in. So if, for instance, they give you a survey, or say when you go to the supermarket and they get they have you give you a receipt and then they fill in this survey, right? And you don't want to be bothered or something like that. Just write in the oh, they, I'm sorry. They, they give you the survey, then. Then when they said for, for any further comments, write in lineage reparations. Any if they have a poll someplace, just write in any further comments. Just write in lineage reparations. Okay. And once you get used to writing lineage reparations, because it, uh, in four years, because you know things not going to take. You know, but what happens is this thing is, this is the narrative. If you keep on writing lineage reparations every place, people say, what the heck? All, all the people that really got to read these comments and the polls say, what the heck's going on here? Lineage reparations. That's all you have to write down. Lineage reparations. L I N E A G E. Lineage. R -E reparations. You know. You know how it's going. Well, uh, you know what I'm talking about. Okay. Do me that favor. <laughs> it's highly entertaining. It's a narrative. We, we remember, we're creating a narrative. We create a narrative. We got to start from the beginning. We got to label the narrative. Our narrative is lineage 
reparations. So we're going to start writing that every place we can. And we're going to start right on this ballot right now, someplace on the ballot. You can still vote for whoever you want to vote for, but someplace on the ballot, then you write later. And if you don't feel like voting for any of those choices that's up there in the beginning, then even in the presidential, vice presidential space, write in lineage reparations, just to let, let you know. All right?